NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, popularly called the JWST, is the biggest and most powerful observatory ever launched from Earth. It was designed to transform the human knowledge of the cosmos. The telescope's sizable segmented mirror and sensitive detectors were meant to find features of cosmic dawn never previously witnessed. Since it became fully functional in space, JWST has delivered phenomenal results despite being one and a half million kilometers away from terrestrial influence. Its latest finding has left the internet buzzing and exceeded scientists' expectations. We'll tell you all about it shortly, so stay tuned. JWST's early discoveries have the potential to rewrite the first chapters of cosmic history, affecting not just distant epochs and remote galaxies, but even our own existence, here in the standard Milky Way. Astronomers have been reporting a continual stream of candidate galaxies considerably more distant than any spotted before the launch of NASA's flagship satellite observatory. To everyone's surprise, JWST has uncovered the universe's oldest galaxy, the Glass Z13. Experts stated that the Glass Z13 galaxy was formed barely 300 million years after the Big Bang. GNZ11 is the name of the previous record-breaking galaxy. However, the freshly discovered galaxy outlives it by around 100 million years. The mass of the ancient galaxy Glass Z13 is relatively smaller than the Milky Way and estimated to be more than 1 billion suns. The Milky Way is around 100,000 light-years wide, whereas Glass Z13 is just a few thousand light-years wide. The further away a galaxy is, the earlier we can view it in the universe and the more likely its light has been stretched by the universe's expansion, resulting in blue and ultraviolet light coming from hot young stars appearing to us as infrared after traveling for nearly 13 and a half billion years. This phenomenon is known as redshift. The higher the redshift, the further the galaxy, the earlier we view it in the universe's history. That's why we need JWST's infrared capability to observe them. NASA was right about this. The James Webb Space Telescope may be able to see deeper and notice galaxies less than 200 million years old. This could be a critical step toward fulfilling the JWST mission of creating a global space map that will contribute to determining the number of galaxies in the universe. Although earlier forecasts predicted that the first galaxies would be so tiny and dim, JWST's pilot studies would provide just a few intriguingly distant possibilities. Bear in mind, though, such observations are expected to take time. As soon as the telescope scientists revealed the first photos of the distant cosmos, astronomers like Naidu at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology began discovering countless galaxies inside them that defied all assumptions regarding apparent age, size and brightness. Theorists and observers have been trying to explain JWST's discovery of remarkably developed early galaxies in the weeks and months after, with several unanswered questions. Could the slew of gigantic and luminous early galaxies be a mirage caused by errors in the telescope's first observations? Could these, if true, be explained by mainstream cosmological models? The rivalry for discovery was fierce. Every new day brought reports of yet another record-breaking earliest known galaxy from one study organization or another. The researchers relied on redshift estimations generated from basic brightness observations to get answers quickly. These are less exact, but simpler to get than direct measurements of redshift, which need more devoted observation time. As we mentioned earlier, the most distant known galaxy, GNZ11, was discovered in 2015 at a redshift of 11, owing to a 2009 update that improved the telescope's weak infrared capabilities. 
a redshift of 11 approximates a cosmic age of around 400 million years, just before the beginning of galaxy formation. But using the first glass data, two teams, one headed by Naidu in that frenetic late-night discovery, independently discovered glass Z13 with a redshift of 13, some 70 million years earlier. As observed by JWST, Stefan's Quintet interacting galaxies are roughly 290 million light-years distant from Earth. This mosaic covers one-fifth of the Moon's diameter, comprises around 1,000 individual photos, and shows hitherto unseen features about the galaxy group. NASA, ESA, CSA and STSI are all credited. The telescope's importance was undiscovered in December 1995 when scientists directed Hubble towards an apparently vacant stretch of the sky for 10 days. Many scientists feared the lengthy observation would waste resources, exposing just a few faint galaxies, yet the effort was well rewarded. The resultant picture, the Hubble Deep Field, revealed that the empty area was packed with galaxies by the millions, going back 12 billion years into our universe's 13.8 billion year past. The Hubble Deep Field revealed that the early cosmos was considerably more exciting than most people had anticipated, providing observational gems to anyone who took the time and effort to look correctly. Even though Hubble's deep field was stunning, scientists wanted more. While some scientists doubted this, the finding of brilliant galaxies in the early universe by JWST suggests that some might be imposters. Much closer galaxies veiled in dust, making them seem dimmer and further away when brightness-based measurements are utilized. However, follow-up observations of glass C13 by the Atacama Substantial Millimeter Array in Chile show that this case is different as no indication of large quantities of dust was found. The most shocking interpretation is that the conventional LCDM cosmological model is incorrect and must be revised. These findings are quite startling and difficult to get in our current model of cosmology. JWST observations to date support such a notion. One more straightforward explanation is that early universe galaxies may have had little or no dust, making them look brighter. This scenario might complicate attempts to measure galaxies' accurate masses and could explain ALMA's trouble detecting glass Z13. It's possible that supernovae didn't have enough time to build the dust or that it is ejected from galaxies during the early stages of galaxy formation. Alternatively, JWST may have just seen the brightest newborn galaxies, which should be the simplest to detect. Something happening in the early cosmos makes it simpler for certain galaxies to generate stars. The high flow of scientific articles from JWST's first observations is no coincidence. Astronomers anxiously awaited the first data. Here's a little review to help you appreciate the quandary. Our cosmos was almost a hot and dense soup of primal deal particles in the first second after the Big Bang. The nuclei of helium and other extremely light elements started to develop during the following three minutes as the universe expanded and cooled. After 400,000 years, the cosmos had cooled adequately for the first atoms to form. Theorists believe that about 100 million years ago, circumstances were finally suitable for the birth of the first stars. Because these massive fireballs were primarily hydrogen and helium and were not polluted by heavier elements seen in current stars, they had drastically different features. These early suns, more extensive and brighter than today's stars, formed proto-galaxies, clusters of gas that clung to massive unseen scaffolding 
of dark matter. The subsequent interactions between these proto-galaxies, which ultimately merged to create more giant galaxies, were directed by gravity. This process of becoming the chaotic early universe, giving way to the more ordered cosmos we know today, is considered to have lasted around a billion years. Astronomers are now racing against the clock to take follow-up observations with JWST. People are still determining what the real redshifts of these objects are at present. Future ideas might hunt for evidence of the initial proto-galaxies, perhaps by leveraging the explosive deaths of supersized first stars in brilliant and energetic supernovae as indicators of their existence. According to some estimations, JWST might see as far as a redshift of 26, 120 million years after the Great Bang, a cosmic blink of an eye. Everyone is patiently waiting for spectroscopic measurements of the redshifts to find out how much each line in a galaxy's spectrum has been redshifted instead of making a final decision based on the galaxy's colour. Much more research will be carried out to follow up on the expanding list of high redshift prospects. JWST has ushered in a new era in science. Despite the uncertainties, the quick dissemination of new findings has energised astronomers. Do you agree with us on this? Let us know in the comments section. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more space videos.